The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the March 30th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I are going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you. Give us a call at 877-927-6648. Now, if you got a question, but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Please send that early. Send it to Steve at TFN.com. And inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you are in our Tiger's Den, more than any in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices Almost all the sectors inside the S&P 500. The XLF just went flat by two pennies. Dow's up 78. S&P's up 22. NASDAQ 122. Russell's up six. Semis are up 67. That's a little over 2% move to the upside. Gold is up six bucks, three tenths. Silver's up one and three tenths or 30 cents. Lights we crude up a buck 29. Trading out at 74 and a quarter. You got natural gas off six pennies and a 30 treasury up nine ticks. Trading out at 130.03. Lead the charge. Dollar wise, the upside. You've got that Mercado Libre up two and three tenths percent or 29 bucks. A Hollow Mix up 25 bucks, 228 percent. Now that's a move. Azimil Holdings 20 bucks, 3 percent. Lamb Research 13 bucks, 2 and a half percent. KLAK uh, Corp is up uh, 3 and a half percent or 13 bucks. Leading the charge to the downside is Regenerant Pharmaceuticals off about 11 bucks. Semtech Corp off about 7 or 21 percent. Franklin Covey down 7 bucks, about 15 percent. Metropolitan Holding Bank down 7 percent. I'm sorry, 19 percent, 7 bucks. Baidu is off about 3 percent. Four bucks and change. So let me give you the uh, numbers to watch for the uh, rest of the day out here. We'll just make things very easy for you. We've got some synergy. We love when we have synergy. That synergy is coming from the 60-minute equity future contracts out here. Each of them have TD nine count tops. You've got a wave number seven top also inside the ES-Mini for its 60-minute time frame, but that really doesn't matter at this stage here. The number, put this on your pad of paper or wherever it is you want to put it, 40, 85, 75 for the ES Mini. If on a 30 or 60 minute basis, that is, price close above that level, that tells you about a further rally. Otherwise, where is support? It's at 4070 and below 4070, it's at 405350. Those are the numbers that you need to pay attention to. The NQ, the number is 13081 and a quarter. We're at 13096 right now. If we get a hourly closing above 1308125, that tells us about a further rally, at least for the NQ. Inside the Dow, where's support inside the uh, NQ out here? Well, geez, the first place is the green oscillator and change line. Look at that momentum. It is still held out there, 13061. But you're at 12966 would be support in 12941.75. Inside the Dow, equity future contract, it's 33121. You close above that, you're off to the races to the upside. Price is already trading below the bottom of its uh, 30 or 60 minute profile that is at 33010. So its next level of support is at 32875. And finally, the Russell 2000, 1800.80. Close above that, and what we'll see is a further rally. Here, just like the Dow, price did close below the bottom of its 60-minute profile, so the next area of support would be down at 1780.80. Keep your eyes on the NQ. Keep your eyes on the S&P. Hey, let's keep our eyes on the market breadth out here. What's the market breadth look like? I hope I was on the white charts. Yeah, I was. Whew. 
Thank goodness. I didn't want to make a repeat of yesterday. If we take a look at the S&P 500 right now. We are bullish for all time frames except for the weekly. Let's see how bad off we are on a weekly standpoint. And on a weekly basis, what we have is 97 instruments above, 118 instruments below. So it's getting better. We take a look at the daily out here, 209 above, 58 below. Very bullish out there. If we take a look at the four-hour chart, you've got 368 above, only 31 below. Uber bullish when we take a look at the four hour time frame chart and finally to cap it off we'll look at the 16 minute chart 387 above 29 below folks these are the conditions of a buy the dip rally out here let's take a look at what's going on inside the ndx 100 how bullish is it well if we look at a 60 minute time frame chart 74 above 11 below that's very bullish that has got, what, 72% above profile, 69% on the uh, four-hour time frame chart, 71. If we take a look at the uh, daily time frame, you've got 53%, uh, 54 above, only four below. Very bullish for the NDX 100. Kind of getting the uh, picture out here. Now, we take a look at the uh, these charts here. Let's pull up the uh, daily time frame. Let's just switch over. Go take a look at the daily charts here. Uh, you'll see in the upper left-hand corner, there's the A to B equals CD pattern. This was uh, the sell the D point, which formed out here on March 23rd, will be negated with a close about 4073.75. And again, the next price target for the ES mini to the upside would take us into the 4113 area. You're waiting for a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Gartley buy pattern. Now, that is under the assumption that price closed above that resistance from March 22nd. Again, that number, 4073.75. If we take a look at June, uh, a close above the high from March 22nd, that is at 13.082, it negates its road momentum indicator signal, or 13.095, and that would say price continues to move higher short of another bearish reversal candle forming, which could uh, generate another road momentum indicator top out there. If we take a look at uh, June here, for the... Uh, uh, for the uh, Dow, it is trading above the top of its daily profile. Closed above it yesterday. It set it up in A to B equals CD pattern. It will do that with a close above 32,994 today. But the uh, Dow is saying, hey, I am bullish. The Russell 2000, its price target to the upside is going to be 1825.70. That is the top of its daily profile. So we've got positive market breadth. What else do we have out here? Well, let's go back to the white background charts. Let's just kind of finish it off just to give people a feel and a flavor for what is going on. And what I mean by that is if we go take a look at New York Stock Exchange, Advanced Klein Oscillator, I don't know if we've got Peter from Park City in the dead, but he loves this tool. And right now, what you can see, we are in the overbought area. We've gone from very oversold, and now if we close above the plus 150, we'll be in the very overbought level. Now, here's the thing. When we get above plus 150, not intraday, which is where we're at right now, but as a close, if we close above plus 150, it tells us about higher price to come. Doesn't mean tomorrow, but it does mean in the near future out there. So this suggests that the rally would not be over. And again, that spot follow to next well below its 50-day exponential moving average, left-hand panel chart. The only resistance right now that the ES is dealing with is the center of its weekly profile, 4081 out there so just something to consider but conditions as you can tell they are bullish the only bearish sign we see so far is really from that 60 minute set of time frame charts out there that we took a look at steve Rhodes with tfn we get back to this break let's take a look at fortnite apple amazon and goldilocks we'll be right back Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Dow's up 49 right now. All the U.S. indices trading to the upside. We're going to go take a look at Fortinet. This is for Rich. This question came in uh, late yesterday. And uh, Rich uh, wanted me to take a look at it. What's Fortinet doing? So if we take a look at the – I'm going to start from right to left, Rich, out here. I'm going to take a look at the monthly time frame chart out there. And the monthly time frame chart shows us uh, – and this month obviously ends tomorrow – that price is trading above both its green oscillator and change on the top of its profile. The top of its profile is 63.79. So that's something you want to look at uh, tomorrow's close. I'm assuming that price will close above it. And if it does, it tells us that what price wants to do is get back and target its recent highs out there. So that's in that $75 area. Those highs are already trading inside that swing point. That was from December 2021. And that high out there is actually 74.35. Now, on a weekly basis, Depending on the volume today and tomorrow, the B point of an A to B equals CD to upside has volume of 22 million shares. So far today, or through today, we're at 14. This does about 4 million shares a day. So there's a possibility that you're going to be able to get the volume or be really close to it. But either way, if you close above that B point, you have a one to one A to B equals CD. That gives us a price projection up in that 74, 70, that 75 area. That just matches what we just looked at on the monthly and the weekly time frame. So what you know right now about the longer term picture for Fortinet is that it wants to go target its uh, its all time highs out there. If we look at the daily time frame, the daily time frame has no topping pattern whatsoever. It has roads meant to indicator signals that are triggered, but those require a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. Price above profile, price above screen oscillator and change line, it simply is bullish out there. So it's bullish for the daily, bullish for the weekly, bullish for the monthly. I'm not saying that this uh, can't top and pull back out here. And we'll take a look at its seasonal pattern for you momentarily. Quickly on a 30 minute time frame chart, no topping signal here either. Now there's probably an A, to, there's, there's certainly an A to B equals CD pattern. And so there was a bear session. So we'll say there's a sell the D point, but price is above its oscillator and change line. We know that is bullish, but especially when it's green and it's above the top of its profile. So I'm not sensing a whole lot in the 30-minute time frame chart. Now, because it has that roads momentum indicator signal triggered, where are we at from a seasonal standpoint? Well, Fortinet has been trading for 13 years. And the red vertical line out here, this is today's date. So what we know from a seasonal standpoint, well, first of all, we're coming into April. And if you take a look at April down here, what you should notice, Rich, is April is one of the worst performing months for Fortinet, at least over the last 13 years. The actual worst performing month has been September. 
So you're not expecting a lot of movement. In fact, you typically top out just about now, right towards the uh, early part, end of April, end of March, early part of April, and then it just kind of trades sideways. Now. What we don't have is a topping pattern or signal to confirm that move. That's why you're watching this Rogeman indicator signal. If you're long, you stay long. If you get a bearish reversal candle and price is still above that green oscillator and change line, you probably stay long and you just tighten up your stop, uh, if you will. So we know that seasonally speaking, typically we start to top out. Uh, we don't have that confirmation that could we, we you know we could easily get that uh, confirmed signal, but we don't have that as we speak right now. So I'm going with right now. The signal is we want to get back to those all-time highs. We'll retake a look at it if there's something else that takes place. So, Rich, thanks so much for waiting for the full day. Hope that helps you out, and thanks so much for the request. Next request coming in from the Tiger's Den. It's Dennis from West Palm Beach. And Dennis wants to take a look at Apple. He's asking about near term. So for near term, I'm just going to put up the daily, uh, the 30 minute time frame chart. And then we'll take a look at the daily, the weekly, and so forth. But on a 30 minute basis, you have formed a TD nine count top. That TD9 count top, and your timing is very good because this took place at 11 a.m. The high of the TD9 count is at 162.47. Note that on your pad of paper. You get a 30-minute close of 162.47. Apple is headed higher. I'm not saying Apple is headed lower. I'm just saying at that stage, Apple is headed higher. Now, because we have a we have a TD9 count top, what price should do, what sellers should be able to do, is push price back to support, and that's going to be that green oscillator and change on at 161.28. That number is going to change. Um, as price moves up and down, but you can use that as a basic guideline. Below that, you'd be looking at 160.13. I'd really be looking at 159.80. So very short term, you've got a top, but you close above the uh, uh, the TD9 count top up there, and that says we move higher. And that's what the daily chart is telling us. Daily chart is signaling to you and I. Now it's not days in, so that uh, TD9 count top could get price back below the high of March 22nd. That high is at 162.14. We're at 162.23 right now, but a close above 162.14, uh, Dennis is going to negate. That road's meant to indicator top. And that's going to say that we should continue to move higher. We do see we've got a wave number seven signal that's been triggered. You need a lower high in order for that pattern to form. But still, price above profile, price above green oscillator and change line. Conditions at worst case would be neutral if that were to unfold. So I would watch Apple today as well for clues about the NQ out there and the NDX 100. Again, an Apple, a close of 162.14, and this tells you that it wants higher price. Now, higher price to where? Excellent question. I would say at this stage here, the higher price would be this descending price channel. That would take us this week, that would be in about the 165 level, give or take. So will Apple be able to bust out of this descending price channel? I don't know. I don't think anybody else knows. What I do know is if it does bust out of it, and we've got an A to B equals CD pattern, let's take a look at this, let's take a look at volume. So the B point out here would have been the week from February 3rd. Volume there, 480 million shares, last week, 350. So you have a A to B equals CD to the upside. It hasn't been confirmed by volume, but it most certainly has been confirmed by price. Now, let's take a look at where this projection could take us to. The reason I say could is because we still, or it still has to deal with that descending price channel. But if it's able to break that, then you're going to have a one-to-one -one A to B equals C. That's going to take you up into the highs from the week of August the 19th. And that would say you'd run from 171.31 up to 176.15. So Apple, on a weekly basis, looks muy bueno. Didn't take out last week's swing point uh, or didn't take out the swing point last week uh, with volume, but doesn't matter. You've got price. And so the A to B equals C pattern is in effect, but you do have that descending price channel. The other piece of resistance that you have comes from a monthly time frame. That's going to be at approximately 163.48 and above that 168.79. So, Dennis, I hope that helps you out. Again, short term, watch that 30-minute time frame chart. That will give you clues as to what Apple's next intent is. Our man Coda inside the Tiger's Den wants to take a look at the amazing one. That is Amazon printing out right now, 102.39. It's taking out a B point. Is it doing it with volume? Well, we won't know till day's end, but what we do know is the swing point is from March 22nd. The volume there was 57 million shares. So far today, it's done 22 million shares. That is in two hours of trading. That says it should have the volume to confirm an A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, this retracement is much less, or it is less than a 0.618 retracement. So that suggests that this would do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the upside. But let's not uh, take a, let's not do that. Let's just take a look at what's the conservative A to B equals CD pattern out here. 
And that's going to get us up into a range of about 111, we'll call it. One, I'm sorry, one, don't call it 110. So 1 to 1, A to B equals CD would take us up to 110. That gets us into the swing point out here. That's the swing point from uh, the trading session of February 2nd. That had volume there of 144 million shares. So you watch the volume coda as price moves up into that. On a weekly time frame out here, you're above the top of its profile. You're above last week's high. That says that we should likely head higher. We take a look at the monthly time frame chart. It wants to go target the 116.67 level. That's what I see when I take a look at Amazon. Amazon also on a short-term time frame. No topping pattern just yet. Looks like it wants to continue to move higher. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We'll take a look at Goldilocks, but give us a call 877-927-6648 or Steve at TFNN.com. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Inn, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So I just popped up on my screen here. I want to give uh, some information for folks to uh, consider. And and I, I didn't know this until I just popped this open. So there's equal weighted ETFs for the uh, Qs for the uh, S&P. RSP is equal weighted ETF for the uh, S&P. It's the Qs, which is QQEW. That's what we're looking at right now. That's one that I want to notice. The reason is because uh, we will take a look at the Qs. I want to see if it did this yesterday. I don't believe that it did. But the uh, QQ, the equal weighted ETF typically really points the direction of the market. Well, it turns out that the QQEW yesterday confirmed an A to B equals CD to the upside with volume. It passed its B point. The high of the B point was uh, 98.25. The volume there was 81,000 shares. Yesterday, 189,000 shares. And price closed one penny 
at 98.26 above that swing point. You have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside inside of QQEW that gets us back into that swing point from February 2nd out there. So I know there's folks thinking uh, short is the uh, route to go. Just consider that piece of information as well. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, at the cues uh, momentarily, but I believe we have a caller on the line. It is Dave in uh, Massachusetts. Dave, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I am fine. I'm fine. Um, Excellent. As, as long uh, you as are looking else at is fine over there. You try to, you know. I miss Dave White. I used to talk oh. to him, but um, yeah. what am I going to yes. do? Yes. Yeah, we we um, all can you take we, we all miss him. Delta there, D A L. See if it's a, where it's going. Yeah. What? What? Tell me what you're doing with it, and how I can how I can best help. I'm you. not in it yet. I'm thinking okay. of getting into it. D A L. Okay. Okay, so what Delta did um, on uh, March 28, just a couple of days ago, it confirmed one of my Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom patterns. Price was stretched and started stretching on March 23rd and March 24th, and you got the bullish reversal candle on March 28th. What price is doing right now, uh, Dave, is it is uh, printing, is printing, is trading with inside its profile. The top of the profile, you don't see the Delta charts? Oops, sorry, let me change over the white background screens. Thank you. Thank you for getting me early here. So here's the daily time frame chart. Again, I'll just go through this. Price began stretching itself on the trading session of March 23rd. That doesn't mean that we're going to get a bottom out there, but it does mean that if we get a b bullish reversal candle, that confirms that uh, we do have a bottom. And that's what we've got right now. Now price is trading with inside its profile. And the profile helps us to identify where buyers and sellers are lined up. And the sellers are lined up at 34.43 or 34.03. It's an equally balanced profile, I means it doesn't uh, weigh more towards bulls or bears out there. But if price does close above 34.43, Delta Airlines for its daily time frame will generate a change in trend signal for you. Any questions about the daily time frame before I move over to the weekly, monthly to uh, uh, to, to review this for you? Yeah. Um, so no no so questions. It's got to get over 34.43 for it to resume, I guess. 3443 would then be signaling to you that we have a change in trend on a okay. weekly basis. Yeah, on a weekly basis, what I don't have is a bottom pattern. That doesn't mean okay. it hasn't bottomed. The weekly, based upon what I, if, if price closed above 3443, then the weekly chart would be telling you that price wants to get up to 3562 or thereabouts. That number is going to change because what I refer yeah. to as an oscillator and change line, so as price moves up and down. But that'll just simply tell you, get above 3443, the weekly chart kicks in and says we're moving higher with its real site set on about 3693. The monthly chart has pulled back and has tested support. It's trading with inside a very large consolidation of its profiles. So the buyers inside of, Dal of uh, Delta Airlines on a monthly basis, your long-term buyers, they've lined up between 2911 and 3101. The actual low for the month out here was 3104. So that's close enough. So those buyers at that 3101 area, they, they're there. They're solid. Just so, just so you know that longer term. Yeah. And that matched out to the daily time frame. Why price stopped where it did, and then you got the bullish reversal signal on the daily time frame. So you've got a bottom here. Uh, the weekly chart is the one that is suspect, but uh, 3443 is the magic number as we speak right now. Now, I would expect in the case of Delta that what we would see here. So this is going to be, or appears this will be bar number four, day number four of consecutive moves higher. Typically, you get a three-day move and a one-day pullback or one or two-day pullback. Those are kind of the dance mechanisms. So I, you know, I, I would wait either for a pullback, which might take place tomorrow or Monday, Tuesday of next week out there, um, or wait for price to clear that resistance zone of 34.43. If it does pull back, you should be a buyer. Consider yourself being a buyer at about 33.15 or so. Does that help yeah. you out? Steve, do you see hitting it around 40 at all? Down the road here. If it clears 3443, um, it will be on its way to doing that. Um, okay. It just has some battles that it's got to deal with. And those are 3443, right. about 3562, and then 3693. Let's put up, uh, just for the heck of it, let's see what we have out here for Delta Airlines for its seasonal pattern. So just kind of get a feel for we've got okay. uh, 15 years worth of data. And Delta, if you take, if you watch this on Tiger TV, sort of we're in a consolid. So historically, over these 15 years, we're in a period where it typically consolidates, and then it actually, and then it moves lower into about the July time frame, and then it actually takes off. So now, knowing that this is the seasonal pattern, and knowing that price is not cleared resistance, make that a must. 
right? It's got a clear resistance to say, you know what, it's okay. going to go ahead and buck the trend of the seasonal pattern. Otherwise, uh, what you might want to do, if it does, okay, because now that, that, that weekly chart sort of makes sense. If, we, if we're just going to counter trend rally here for Delta, then we should see it move lower. Maybe that will go ahead and form a uh, bottom out there. So seasonally speaking, you know, you're in kind of a tough spot for Delta Airlines, but make it prove okay. itself to you. All righty? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. You betcha. You thanks for Thank the, you taking for the call. Hopefully we'll hear from you again. That was Dave okay. in Grammingham, Massachusetts. Uh, now let's, uh, so I was talking about the QQEW, uh, went to that break, and, and we'll get to uh, gold here in, ju in just a few, Coda. So we got we got plenty of time on the show here. I just want to go switch back and take a look at the QQQs, which I don't believe uh, passed their uh, swing point with volume yesterday like the QQEW did. So let's try the QQQs. I could be wrong on it. I just may have missed it. And so on the QQQ ETF, no, it did not pass its uh, swing point um, uh, yesterday. In fact, it's not even trading above it today. So just saying, the equal weighted ETF typically points the way as to what the intention of the market is out there. Well, now let's go take a look at uh, Goldilocks, get a feel for it. Let's go and actually see if we can stay on this screen here for a few moments and just take a look at uh, any other interesting gold charts that I might have, such as this one. How's gold trading in all the major currencies? So you can see this is a monthly time frame chart, and we've made new all-time highs this month for gold priced in yen and priced in pounds out there. That tells us, that tells me, that tells you that gold priced in dollars is going to make a new all-time high at some point in time. It doesn't tell us when. We take a look at gold here on this set of charts. What we can see is that price is above. Let's start from the bottom right. Price is above the top of its quarterly profile. That suggests, and you can see this large consolidation that we have out here, that suggests that price wants to get back to that. If we break through that consolidation coda, that says we have a measured move up to about the 29.30-ish area out there. Positive, but heading up towards the top of the consolidation. Don't know whether we break through it or not. If we take a look at the monthly time frame, prices above all profiles out there. You're trading into both the uh, swing points out here from the trading session of August in 2020, as well as the uh, session here in March of 2022. So March of 2020. Yeah, we're in March of 2023. So uh, you've got gold pushing up into that level. We'll see if it can clear. On a weekly time frame, prices above profile. And it should head it's to the uh, again to those highs at 2074 area. That was a previous all time high. And if we take a look at uh, gold priced in uh, dollars out here, it's trading above profiles as well. So it's relatively bullish. We take a look at Goldilocks. We'll take a look at my other charts for gold. We get back from the spring. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. 
First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the fund is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We got gold trading on 1974. 1991. Oh, what do, I, do I have the wrong contract? Jeez Louise, Stevie. Change that. Goodness gracious here. So we're getting to the June contract. Sorry about that, folks. Give me a second. So you got gold trading out at 1991.60. If you take a look at the 60-minute time frame chart here, Coda, we see a consolidation, don't we? And it's uh, been marked by the TD9 count breakout level at 1971.80 and the TD9 count breakdown level at 1993.20. I'd say the area to watch today, for well, those would be two areas to watch today. If gold were to close above, were to close above 1994.20, we're looking at the June contract, that's then going to signal an A to B equals CD to the upside out there. And that would look something like this. I'd give you an approximate price target. There would be your A to B area, and I'll just move this over then to the C point, the lowest low after that B point. And that would then take you up into approximately the 2002 area. But right now, consolidation between 1971 and 1993 out there. So that should be helpful to those of you that are trading gold. If we take a look at the monthly time frame, you're trading or gold is trading into its uh, swing point for March of 2022. That has acted as resistance the last two months. Don't know what tomorrow looks like, but if we do close into it, suggest that we go test that high. That's a A to B equals CD pattern we looked at with regard to gold on the weekly time frame that gets up in the 2137 ish area out here the daily time frame just a sideways consolidation over about the last two weeks out here what price has been doing is has been holding its green oscillator and change line now on my white background chart i've got the june contract i was using my synthetic contract on the black background charts out here which did not show profile resistance which one is right they're both right out here here we do have profile resistance at 2013 20. so price should go target that level if I take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart, no topping pattern as we speak. Uh, uh, the 60-minute we've covered, nothing on the uh, two-hour, nothing on the four-hour, nothing on the five-hour. That's going to change our views thus far. Last thing with regard to a Goldilocks, we're about to enter or enter April. March is a unfavorable seasonal time period for uh, gold. Well, if we take a look at the month here, uh, that has not been the case this time. You know, I'm not a big guy to say, uh, okay, the pattern has inverse. It's just not paying attention to the normal current. You know, if you go out in the ocean, you have certain times of the uh, year where you going to have some uh, currents that are going to move you. Sometimes they don't always, you know, they're not always to the day and, and not always to the week. And sometimes, it, you know, the, uh, so in this case here, with regard to uh, Goldilocks, look at April. You're looking at the bottom right, April, May. Very favorable seasonal time periods out there. So we may see a further rally, or we should see a further rally, quite frankly, uh, out here that at least a rally into the middle of April, and then maybe it kind of just goes sideways out there. But there's no topping signal that we have on the daily time frame. So um, price should continue to move higher. So, Code, I hope that helps you out with regard to Goldilocks. Thanks so much for the request. We're going to go take a look at uh, ticker symbol DTIL. This is for Brent in Martinez, California. So let me get to uh, those charts here and we'll actually read the question that might be helpful. Is this it? That is not it. I think it's this tab right here. 
And it is. So Brent writes in. And Brent, thank you for doing that. He writes in. He says, good morning. Good morning to you. Could you please give your analysis a DTIL? You're looking at this for a potential long buy. I believe this is bar number nine or the bar after on the weekly. It has a hammer candle low on the daily. Would appreciate what you see with the charting tool. So, yeah, let's take a look at that hammer candle. Let's open up the uh, daily time frame chart here. Uh, so what we can see is a uh, buy the D point pattern that formed. What does that mean? entails steve that entails an a to b equals cd to the downside so that a to b equals cd there's your a to b point now we're just simply going to go ahead and move this over to the c point that's going to be the highest tie that uh, forms after that you can see this is more than a one to one a to b equals cd to the downside the first bullish reversal candle that formed to confirm this by the d point was back on march 27th that is that bullish hammer candle what price is doing right now in a daily time frame brett it is consolidating with inside its daily profile so resistance is held which is 78 cents support is held which is 71 cents that's what the daily time frame chart is doing on a weekly time frame you i do not have a td9 count bar so let me pull this back here we make it a little bit easier maybe for you to read uh i can't that's not helping out is it uh i know how to to help out here um but the answer is brent i let me just do this let me just try to make it easy for everybody so give me a second here if you will let me get into this tool let me turn this off or just turn to one line out uh, there that should make things a little bit easier for stevie uh, oh my god it didn't there we go okay so brent what I've got this in is uh, on a weekly basis, is this is bar number six as we speak right now. What I do have on the weekly basis is a Rhodes Mentum indicator signal. And that would require a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom there. So you may want to wait for that. I don't have the same thing that you are seeing. On a monthly basis, I do have us forming bar number nine right now. Now, the TD9 count bottom that formed was in June of 2022. Looks like we're going to get another... Uh, TD9 count bottom either in March or April. Now, uh, this is going to become bar number nine out here. So there's still a pretty good chance that the low will come a good a chance that the low will come on the bar following bar number nine. The only way we'll know that is if we see a spike below the bottom of that hammer candle. So with regard to the charts, I'd be patient and I would wait here. Uh, price was unable. It's traded below that red oscillator and change line. It was un unable to take out the top of that profile. So I just say, what's up with that? So uh, keep looking, uh, Brent. I hope that helps you out. You'd love to see a bullish reversal candle on the weekly, though, tie into the daily, and then, you know, have another TD9 count bottom on the uh, monthly time frame chart. So that's ticker symbol DTIL. That was for Brent in Martinez, California. The next uh, signal symbol that we're going to look at is AXON. This is for Tim. Tim writes in, and Tim's question goes like this. Yeah, good morning, Steve. Good morning to you. Could you please take a look at AXON on the daily and weekly, not in it yet, and willing to be patient? So you've got a nice little consolidation inside the daily time frame, Tim, after it formed and completed that TD9 count and Rhodes Mintum indicator top back on March the 8th. So you're trading between the range of 226 at resistance and 213.35 as support for the most part. On a weekly time frame, Rhodes Mintum indicator signal has been triggered. No bearish reversal candle. This still is bullish. Very bullish. Price above its profile, above its green oscillator and change line. So top with a consolidation on the daily. Very bullish says signals on the weekly and very bullish on the monthly. If, in fact, price closes above 212.37, this will negate a TD9 count top from February of 2021 out there. You are forming bar number eight of a TD9 count. So, you know, you could get a top that forms between this month and two months from now because this is only bar number eight. Now, typically, if you get a completed bar number eight, which we will have here, this will go on and complete a TD9 count. There's about a 90 percent chance of that unfolding out there. So you are looking to get in. You're going to have to wait for a retracement out here. And, uh, and right now, those retracements are just simply, you know, back to in essence, almost the bottom of the daily profile, about 213.35 out there. So AXON, again, looks pretty bullish right now as we speak. And uh, so I hope that helps you out, Tim. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Let me see if anything else came in by email. We're about to go to a breakout here. And the answer is uh, no. I don't see a darn thing. So we've got the Dow. Trade up 21 points right now. S&P is up 15. We should take a look in on those 60-minute charts out there. Let me see if I can fire those up here real quickly while we go to break. Has anything broken? Nope. 
You got the Russell right now pulling back to test breakout support at 17880. The actual low so far, 170080. How does that work? Steve Rhodes, TFN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we've got those 60-minute charts. We took a look at these at the beginning of the show. Nothing has changed here, each of them having TD9 count tops, uh, price pulling back and testing support, as we talked about inside the Russell 2000. It's the first one down to test its breakout level of support of 1780.80. If we take a look at the NQ, it's got a TD9 count top. Again, the number there is to watch the 13081 and a quarter. The Russell, it's 1800.80. The Dow is 33.121. The ES Mini is 4085.75. If you get 30-minute close, above those that tells us about price moving higher for likely the rest of the uh, day so we've got a timeout as we speak right now uh, we we had identified that you and i now price pulling back and testing support areas now in the case of the nq hasn't even got back to support so very strong that support would be it down at the first level would be 13057 ultimate support 12 941 the es mini did form a new profile since we uh, came on the air we started looking at it I believe that support level is at 4070, but below that you've got breakout support at 4053, and the Dow is support area is at 32875. So market conditions are bullish across the uh, board out there. Uh, the short-term time frame, the uh, 30 minute did move to uh, a slightly uh, bearish crossover. So that's just really tying out to what it is that we're seeing here with regard to those TD9 counts. So here is a 30 minute. 
um, set of profiles, TAS market breadth profile data from the NASDAQ 100, 13 above, 42 below out there. And with regard to the ES mini, so we could see a further pullback to their support levels. And on the S&P 500, let's see if we can get this up here for us. That's going to generate or is telling us that we have 58 instruments above, 245 below. So again, watch those key levels of support on any further pullback. Inside the ESP, that first level is 4070. And below that, it's at the 4053 area and the NQ 13059. And then finally, 12941 out there. So folks, it's great to be with you. Hey, tomorrow morning, I believe we are, re we are recording that show early. So if you can uh, join us between 8 and 9, that would be a wonderful thing out there. Have a terrific Thursday. Stay tuned. Great programming lined up the rest of the day. Be safe out there, folks.